<sighs> hey guys, how are you doing? This is Robbie from Paramatica here. And what I wanted to talk about today was uh, a habit, something that I do, uh, that I've been practicing since I was younger, basically since age 16, I think. I used to do this. And it's a small habit. It's a very weird habit, uh, but it really helped change my life. Uh, I should really do it more, actually. Uh, and what this habit is, uh, we can call it like self-discussion. So basically, uh, every time I'm confused, every time I'm, I'm just very frustrated or lost in a situation and I don't know what to do, uh, what I do is I actually put on headphones and I go outside in the street just like this. And what I do is I pretend to be on a call. Now, who am I calling? Myself, basically. So. I'll just imagine walking from in the street and just talk, start talking. Yeah, yeah, I think this is that. Just start actually talking to myself like, yeah, I think uh, this is a big problem. I need to deal with this. No, it's not true. No, you're wrong, blah, blah, blah. And I would literally just start having a full on conversation with myself. Uh, now you might be saying, why are you, why would you do, why would you have a conversation with yourself, Robbie? Uh, well, it's not because I'm insane. So I'm very much aware that I'm talking to me. The reason I'm doing that is because a lot of the times what we do is we try to think in our own head. And the problem with thinking in your own head is that you're stuck in a bubble because you have nothing to bounce it off of. Uh, that's why sometimes, you know, when we feel kind of insane or we're not really sure what's the right thing to do, we talk to somebody, you know, a good friend, a family member, and then suddenly things become very, very clear. Uh, because other people, they help uh, to ground us. So. Uh, you don't need to have necessarily other people. You just need something external that you can bounce off of. So uh, on this, at the same token, just writing your thoughts uh, could also work. Let me turn around. So uh, what I do is I basically start a conversation with myself, uh, which again, I know it sounds insane, but you should definitely try that. Uh, and what I do is I discuss whatever is on my mind. So I start asking myself, uh, you know, is this a real problem? Is this a real situation? What's the best solution? Is this really good? Is this really bad? How do I deal with this? And, and I just have a full discussion. And what tends to happen is I'll start to notice a lot of incongruencies in the way that I discuss things. Because I'll say, for example, this is a really bad situation. It's really not okay, blah, blah, blah. And then I'll reply to myself while talking and I'll say, is that true? I don't think so. That's wrong. And I'll actually like contradict myself. And then my f the first version of me would say, Oh, you're right. Maybe it's not that bad. So literally just by talking to yourself, that would also help me elevate my state because I'll go da 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 da. And I'll, I'll like be in, in the moment talking. That would also help me elevate my state just from the doingness of, of talking. And I'll come up with the most insane, creative, uh, awesome solutions on the spot. So this is a habit that, that really, really helped me in my life. And I would strongly recommend for you, um, if you're in a problematic, problem, problematic situation right now, if you're not sure what you're supposed to do, uh, if you have a big challenge and you don't really have anyone to talk to, try discussing with yourself. And again, not debating in your head. Try putting on headphones, going out into the street, feel comfortable because everybody's gonna assume you're on the phone and literally just start talking to yourself uh, and see what happens. And uh, again, it works amazing in my experience. It helps me solve deep-seated issues and come up with creative solutions. Another big reason why this is a good habit is because sometimes what happens when we talk to other people and we try to get their advice is they would affect us and make us uh, uh, have a different, basically have a different direction. and sometimes they lead us in a direction where they're just biased in that direction and then we'll apply what they say and then we'll find ourselves weeks or months later thinking why did i do that you know how did i get to the, to this place and the reason is because you've listened to somebody else uh who had very different intentions very different uh thoughts than you do uh very different directions and biases so by reflecting on yourself you're actually able to come up with creative ideas which is uh obviously a huge huge benefit because that means your ideas would actually be original, uh, just like the idea I'm presenting to you right now. So uh, I hope this tips, tip helps you. I know it helped me a lot. 
Uh, let me know if you have any questions and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you so much.